Come on, AI. You're supposed to give me a ranch, and you gave me more of a word salad. It's like a side salad with my main salad. It's too much salad. Whatever. Well, I'm not going to go on a tangent. I'm trying to get that hunter gifted. I ain't, I, I'm not losing, losing focus. We are not losing focus. I can bob and weave. I weaved, and now we come right back. One side is quite literally saying, make America healthy again. Make America wealthy again. Make America safe again. Make America educated again. Make America great again. And the other side is turning the freaking frogs gay. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Ugh, ugh, serious crap. And remember, this is the most important thing. All of your other responsibilities, put them on the back burner. Your dog, I hope you taught them how to walk themselves and feed themselves. Your girlfriend, your wives, they want sex. You want master prestige. And let them know you're getting it, baby. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the lobby. So one of my favorite Call of Duty OGs, Nate Shot, I think owes me 100 gifted now because he tweeted this out saying that if anyone could explain to him what Kamala Harris said in her recent photo op that was dressed up as a town hall meeting, what she actually said, and this is the word salad she delivered. Let me, if I can just speak to the, what people are feeling. We cannot despair. We cannot despair. You know, the nature of a democracy is such that I think there's a duality. On the one hand, there's an incredible strength when our democracy is intact. An incredible strength in what it does to protect the freedoms and rights of its people. Oh, there's great strength in that. And it is very fragile. It is only as strong as our willingness to fight for it. And so that's the moment we're in. And I say do not despair because in a democracy, as long as we can keep it in our democracy, the people, every individual has the power to make a decision about what this will be. And, that's, and so let's not feel powerless. Let's not let the, some, and I get it, overwhelming nature of this all make us feel powerless because then we have been defeated and that's not our character as the american people we are not one to be defeated we rise to a moment and we stand on broad shoulders of people who have fought this fight before for our country and in many ways let us look at the challenge then that we are being presented and not be overwhelmed by it the baton is now in our hands to fight for, not against, but for this country we love. That's what we have the power to do. So let's own that. Dare I say, be joyful in what we will do in the process of owning that, which is knowing that we can and will build community and coalitions and remind people that we're all in this together. Let's not let the overwhelming nature of this strip us of our strength. That's how I feel about this. That's how I feel about this. And I can't actually explain or eat that word salad that she gave me because I have no ranch dressing. I have no idea what she could, what was even trying to be said there. But I can transcribe this, drop this in a grok, and then see what in the world. Uh, was this word salad and provide the ranch dressing to that so I could actually eat the salad and I'm from the south If it's ranch dressing or Frank's Red Hot that shit goes on everything There's a reason why it's called soul food down here And if you don't like it you can at me and honest to God <laughs> What's sad is that I'm picking up what a lot of this is putting down So let's go ahead and, and read this so here's a simplified explanation of what those key points were one do not despair. The speaker urges people to not give up on their hope or feel overwhelmed by the current challenges. Current challenges are the ones that, you know, she's been in office for four years, so her challenges that they've created. Let's not forget that. And they repeat, do not disrepair to in, do not despair, excuse me, to emphasize this point. The number point point number two is strength and fragility of democracy. Strength. Democracy is strong because it protects the right of freedoms of its citizens. And then fragility. However, democracy is also fragile and needs constant effort and participation from its citizens to maintain it. 
Number three, in democracy, every person has the power to influence change. This means though, even though the problems might seem big, each individual actions matter. Number four, avoid feeling, feeling powerless. The speaker warns against feeling powerless or defeated by the scale of the issues. Feeling powerless leads to defeat, which isn't a part of the American spirit that they describe. I'm not gonna lie, from points number two to number four, the power of the individual and feeling powerless literally is like strength and fragility. It's just kind of repeating itself here, which is the ward salad that we're accusing her of. Historical perspective. The speaker references past struggles and victories, suggesting that current challenges are a part of a historical cycle where people have always had to fight for their country. Now, I love this one because you're right. The individual people had to fight against their country. What does that mean? It normally means... The government. When we're going to war with the other people, it's not like we're going to war with the individuals who are trying just to work hard and have a 9-to-5 and provide for the family. We're normally going to war with the government, and the government sends out those people, right? And I'm probably doing a bad job of uh, explaining and trying to explain what's in my head on this. But this is literally like, yes, you're right. The American people have had to fight against the government, and you're literally a bureaucrat, a politician. And the other side is a construction real estate guy. Who, whatever. Well, I'm not going to go on a tangent. I'm trying to get that hunter gifted. I ain't, I, I'm not losing losing focus. We are not losing focus. I can bob and weave. I weaved, and now we come right back. We're building a community. There is encouragement to build communities and coalitions. This means coming together with others to work with these challenges and reminding everyone that we are all in this together. Example. Tulsi Gabbard, RFK, Elon, Vivek, uh, JD. Do I need to keep going down this list like of the Republic of the Avengers? Oh, shit. This is supposed to be for Kamala. She's just pointing out what Trump is doing. Joy in the action. The speaker just finding joy in the process of taking action because it involves building connections and work towards a common good. This is even a word salad. Come on, AI. You're supposed to give me a ranch and you give me more of a word salad. It's like a side salad with my main salad. It's too much salad. Conclusion. The speaker concludes that by reiterating the importance of not letting the enormity of the task strip us from our strength, this call is to be active, hopeful, and united. A and uh, more half of this was a word salad in itself and trying to desalad the salad. In essence, this message is about remaining hopeful, active, and united in the face of democratic challenges, understanding while the task is significant, it also is within our collective power to address. Yo, know, this, this is already a word salad. And what's sad is with all those bulleted points, I'm picking up what is putting down. But if you just take a step back, right, and you remove your glasses, you're trying to remove your bias as much as you can, one side is quite literally saying, make America healthy again. Make America wealthy again. Make America safe again. Make America educated again. Make America great again. And the other side is turning the freaking frogs gay. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. Ugh, ugh, serious crap. <laughs> but in all seriousness, please do your own research. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. Most importantly, let me know. Does Nate Shot owe me 100 gifted? Because I think I did a pretty damn good job explaining that word salad by making it more of a side salad instead of like a main dish kind of salad. I don't know. It's an effort. <laughs> but if you guys are picking up what I put down, if you guys like the way the words are flowing out my mouth, please like, share, subscribe. I gotta react to everything I see on the internet that I find interesting and important. Not that this is important, but this was interesting and maybe, I don't know, 100 gifted. If not, if Nate Shot sees this and give a like or leave a comment, a loyal smiley face down in the comments, that would be cool as hell. But at the end of the day, this is coming out right before Black Ops 6, so I'll see all of you guys there. And remember, this is the most important thing. All of your other responsibilities, put them on the back burner. Your dog, I hope you taught them how to walk themselves and feed themselves. Your girlfriend, your wives, they want sex. You want master prestige. And let them know you're getting it, baby. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the lobby.